something, feeling like I was missing some piece of the puzzle when really I was just missing myself. And so these crises of faiths are just calls to surrender. They're actually drawing us closer to God, asking us to get closer to ourselves, to really listen to ourselves, to shut out the noise. Um, not last night, the night before last, um, so I've been in bed for two days, and the night before last, I was experiencing a bit of a psychic attack. It was tons of negative energy, negative thoughts that just kept coming at me, um, old energy, old thoughts, old things I had already cleared and transmuted back into the energy of love that were coming back up again, anger and, and misery and depression and criticism and all this stuff. And it's funny, I, I was up for three hours experiencing this. Um, this wasn't just in dream state. I was literally up and my mind was so active and it was a rebirth process. I recognize that now, that's what spirit is telling me now, is a rebirth process. The ego was being shed um, to transmute back into love. And I was doing that in real time because I kept saying to myself, I don't want to be experiencing this. I transmuted this. I've already brought this to my awareness. I don't feel this. I don't feel this anger. I don't feel this resentment. I don't feel this depressed. I don't feel this criticism of myself or of others. Why am I experiencing this? And so that's when I was able to bring in the energy of God, bring in that light source, connect more fully to God to clear that. Um, I connected to God to clear that, to negate that, to neutralize that energy, that negative energy. And that's when I felt um, just this beautiful light energy come. And that's when I began to have these conversations with God about what it was that I was experiencing. Um, I was experiencing this clearing, this experiencing, this releasing of collective energy and any energy still within myself that was attaching to old timelines of fear, of negativity, of criticism, of the false matrix. Um, so that's interesting. That's what they're saying now. So, um, we experience these dark nights of the souls. We experience these voids. We experience these crises of faith to draw us back closer to God itself. Um, we question. We say, am I going crazy? Am I delusional for believing in this? What actually do I believe? What actually am I connecting to? When God goes silent, he's actually asking us to go deep within to trust in ourselves to go deep within to our own solitude, to our own wisdom, to our own knowing. That is what the intuition is all about. It's about trusting the faith. That's what faith is all about. Faith sometimes doesn't have reason. It's about trusting in what you are receiving in the highest form of love, the highest octave of love. Um, and there's a quote from Joan of Arcadia that I wrote down. It's not really faith if there's no crisis. In the times of silence is when you're really called to go within and surrender to your own inner wisdom, to your own inner knowing, without the doubt, without the questioning. But we question to understand. Um, and I want to read you guys something. As I was preparing for this video, because I knew it was going to be a big one, um, I was channeling some messages. Um, and I said, we question the why. This is what a crisis of faith is. This is what a dark night of the soul is, that feeling lost, that being in the void is. It's because we are questioning. But what I said is the questions themselves are what helps us to grow. It's not the answers. It's the questions themselves that help us to grow because it's in the questions that we discover the journey back to ourselves and our connection to God. It's the questions themselves that help us journey into understanding the interconnectedness between all things with all consciousness and what is God but pure consciousness. It's the questions themselves. It's not the answers that are important. It's the questions that help us go deep within ourselves to connect to God, to connect to our own wisdom, to connect to our own inner knowing because we are one with God. So it's the questions and that's why we have these crises of faith. It's not so much a test. It is an opportunity to go deep within ourselves, to surrender to ourselves, to our own inner knowing, to our own faith, to our own understanding. And understanding that God only operates in the energy of love so that we connect back to that energy of love. Mm -hmm.